Hi guys, my name is Nathan and today I'm going to be showing you the easy way to sync up the audio on your videos. Now this is particularly useful when you want to say record a face cam over the top of gameplay because obviously you're going to be recording the face cam and the gameplay separately most of the time. So at some stage you're going to need to sync them up. Now a lot of this way to sync up audio comes down to recording techniques and there is some editing techniques in there as well. So I'm going to be telling you what you need to have done and then showing you how to edit. So first things first, I've got my video up with my face cam in the top right corner and the gameplay behind it. And if you want to know how to get your video to this stage, I've done a video on that already and I'll link it on the screen somewhere now. And the first recording technique that I should mention is that as you can see here, I have audio on both sets of video. So the gameplay has its own audio and the face cam has its own audio too. And both of those have the voice on. They both have a microphone recording. So the gameplay is not just audio from the game it is also us speaking and in order to do this technique that is pretty key i will be doing videos on the other ways to do this and you don't necessarily need to record your voice on both of the videos this is just the easiest way to do it but uh, i will be recording videos for if you haven't done that or you don't do that in the future so if i play you a little snippet of this video now you'll hear it's pretty out of sync and something needs to be done so if you look closely on the tracks, you can see little snippets where the audio is quite loud. And if you click near one of those and then zoom in, you get a closer view of it. Now, because I've recorded audio on both tracks, I can see the audio on both tracks and assume that that is the same bit. So if I now click to where the start of that section of audio is and look at the time is 143.24. If I then go to where it starts on the other track, it's 144.09. Now the way that light works times a second, it goes to 0.30 before going up to the next second. So in order to figure out how out of sync the tracks are, we would minus 143.24 from 144.09. And as seconds go up to 0.30, it happens to be 0.15 of a second out. So if we go back to the beginning of the track by dragging this, we know that the track that needs to be earlier is My Great Game Capture on here because I never changed the name of things on uh, Elgato, so that's why it's called that. And it needs to be 0.15 of a second earlier. Now this is where it helps to leave some space at the start of your video that you don't want. Leave a bit of room that you don't want in the end product so that you can delete a bit out and sync up. So if we turn off V2, A1 and A2, which are the face cam, video and audio, we can just tinker about with the gameplay video and audio. So if we zoom in again and say there, we can now see that 0.15 is here and we can select that and set an out point. If we go back to the beginning and 0 0.00 and set an in point, you'll see that the in point and out points are only selected on the gameplay tracks and we can just close the gap using that little tool there. And you get these little things saying that this is out of sync, but it wasn't in sync in the first place, so that is actually right. And then if we turn back on the face cam videos and test that out, that should be fairly close to synced. Anyway, right, my Newcastle, is that a deal? There you go, it's pretty much spot on. Ever so occasionally you will have to do some fine tuning because otherwise you might get some echo at some stage in the video and it does always help to check towards the end of the video that it is still in sync because sometimes the Elgato or whatever you're using to record goes slightly slower than the face cam or faster than the face cam and that causes the sync to mess up at some stage. So if I just go towards the end of the video and select a random point and uh, I hope there's not too much swearing in this bit but... Uh, That seems pretty decent, there might be a tiny bit of echo and I might have to do a little bit of work on that. Maybe take 0 0.01 of a second off either of them. I'm sure you can identify it if you zoom in and check the tracks closely enough. So there you go guys, that's the easy way to sync up your audio on videos. Like I said at the start, it does require that you record audio on both of the videos that you want to sync up, which I know not everybody does, so I will be doing another video to show you how to do it if you don't record audio on both the videos and you only record on one. But anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like underneath or subscribe to the channel for daily HD content. It really helps me out. Anyway guys, I've been Nathan, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Drag the video that you want to be on top into the edit. And it looks like that. Then you right click on all 
and add tracks. Now you add one video track and two audio tracks. You have to go back and do it again. But that's fine, doesn't bother me. So add. And you add in the second video. Now be very careful not to put it on top of the other one, that's fine. Well as you can see, one of the videos is considerably longer than the other one.